And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Sejuani. Going to be a deck that with a combination that we haven't played before. Um, two really cool champions. We got uh, the Dragon with Shivana and I don't know, whatever, Shiv whatever Sejuani is. But both really cool champions. We're combining them together. So building a deck around Shivana and Sejuani together. And this is what we kind of came up with. It's uh, got a Demacia base with a little bit of challengers. We have um, some challengers. We have like Protege, Fleet Feather Tracker, and of course uh, Screeching Dragon because we need we need Screeching Dragon to go along with Sejuani, or sorry, to go along with Shivana, and then Shivan and then Sejuani. Oh man, I'm going to be mixing these two up, aren't I? <laughs> and Sejuani has the Vulnerable uh, that's kind of like challenging. We also have Grand Plaza, so we have a, a decent amount of challenger type stuff, and I think that that's. Um, pretty well positioned right now i think challengers are um well positioned so i, I like i like that with our deck um kindly tavern keepers in here because the metagame is get, getting more aggressive a lot more burn style deck so we have the full three copies of kindly tavern keeper egghead researcher gives us a little bit of late game along with feel the rush they can put both of our champions into play make them 10 tens so we got um some late game with those and then removal spells concerted strike single combat and you know combat tricks also a sharp sight troll chance so we'll kind of see how it how it works you know it's just a um a lot of just good cards like there's none no, no card in our deck is a bad card and so that's always a good sign um so we'll see how they all kind of mesh together with this shivana sejuani deck so we'll play five games in ranked it's no targon tuesday where we're playing um, non-targon decks and we have four, these four donation decks here um that are all non-Targon decks, so that's so that's good. Okay, Twisted Fate Aphelios. Um, okay, we have the attack token on turn six, so I I think I may want to keep the Sejuani with us having the attack token on turn six, but if we mulligan, it's pretty likely that we find another Sejuani by turn six. Um, I don't really want to keep Sejuani and then we end up drawing like another Sejuani and like a Feel the Rush and then our curve is just, you know, like our uh, hand is has way too high of a curve. Um, instead we redrew, we, we mulligan Concern Strike and Repose, which are the two ofs, and we ended up redrawing those instead of the Sejuani. Alright, so we'll probably play uh, Grand Plaza on their turn on the turn three. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. I'll follow where I can. Yeah, it looks like we're playing against BBG. BBG is an incredibly good player, and so <laughs> these two great champions are a really good player. Um, I have to say that we're pretty big underdogs here, but you know, the, we'll have to play the game to see what happens. I think we're probably pretty big underdogs. You must have some unique insight. Uh, you know, maybe they got the stun card. We know we don't know what card they got here. It could be the stun card. So I don't want Shivana going down to three health because of Boxtopus. So that's why I didn't want to challenge the two one. Multiple veiled temples. Just gonna pass. This is of course better to play units on uh, my turn for that, but of course. Uh, we can assume they're going to be able to get a lot more mana with these Veil Temples and increase the size of these other things. I don't know. I don't know about doing this.
So I don't get to play Sejuani and have a spell available. I'm not worried about my life total. And it's a good thing we didn't keep the Sejuani in our opening hand, right? I said there's likely we'd find another, and we did find two. So said to want to gain challenger and give something vulnerable. It's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever played those two together. Um, Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, Shivana. Really wish I had one more mana for the repost. Maybe we should have Prismatic Barrier instead of repost. Maybe the plus three, plus zero isn't necessary. Um, like a Prismatic Barrier would have been really nice. Blue as the serpentine. Okay, two turns away from that. Light flowers upon my blade. So they can next card they play gives Twist of Fate plus two plus two, so it's really like a, a four four. Welcome to the tipsy Pablo's been down! But his knee out! Okay, never mind. Gives the box to puss. Makes that thing a 5 3. So if I if I just concerted strike and kill this twisted fate right now, then the box of puss can challenge and kill my protege. We probably that's what I'm wondering. Do we actually really need to concerted strike this thing right now? Yeah, I I probably should. And I could I could protect my protege with the Bright Seal Protector, but I don't really want to play Bright Seal Protector right there. So I think I think I'm just gonna let the, my protege die. I guess. You know, help clear up room for this other stuff. I would assume that the moon weapon they would grab would be the stun moon weapon. So if I if I do play Bright Steel Protector, then they stun the, the Screeching Dragon. Please, no hush. The four cards in hand, we know one is a moon weapon. Cool, no hush. That's good. And that's not like the worst trade ever for me with the Sejuani, because that does let us get new Sejuani, which is at four out of five. I I wouldn't want a, a feel the rush to take to put uh, the Sejuani from hand into play. 
I'd rather grab a said Wani from the deck if, if, if we could choose. But since I did play that 4-mana uh, Repost, now we don't have... Ooh, single combat's a great draw. I was going to say, now we don't have Feel the Rush available. So they probably have the Stun Moon weapon still. So Mind Splitter's kind of better to play, but if I play Sejuani and single combat, then we have the mana for Feel the Rush next turn. And of course, the, the good part about getting Sejuani out of my hand right now is that we won't take Sejuani. We won't have the Sejuani leave from that. We can probably pass. We don't actually have to cast single combat right now. Yep, there's stun. I would like for them to challenge something. Good. Yeah, like, you know, I just want to clear my board. This is good for me. Okay, feel the rush. Get 10 10 Sejuani, 10 10 Shivana. There we go, feel the rush. Gets it done. Good win. GG's. Alright, so it looks like we got the same matchup again. And we'll mulligan everything. I could kind of see keeping the single combat, but I think that we need to just uh, mulligan everything and look for a somewhat playable hand. So we're going to be starting off the exact same. Play the Researcher on two, the Grand Plaza on three. Eclipse Dragon's nice, that's one of the best dragons to hit. Yeah, like so basically this is what uh, BBG was missing last time, just didn't have any like real big impactful cards last game. And Solar Priestess helps with that. Not good for me. Yeah, not great. My shield is yours. What a specimen. Was it the ideal play? But, oh well. Don't always get what you want. Shivana, <laughs> why couldn't I have you last turn? Why couldn't I just switch these two draws? And give me Shivana last turn. Okay, so that was there. Uh, invoke card was a written in stars, so we know this card right here is either Twisted Fate or Aphelios that gets plus two plus two. There's always fight in it. Oh. Here, I'm not exactly sure if I'd rather play Shivana or Sejuani. Because again, if I if I do go Sejuani, I won't have like Repose or Concerted Strike. It's probably Sejuani. Yeah. Let's go Sejuani. I'm always up for a round or two. All that glitters. Protect and strike. So remember, it's going to be really easy. All they have to do is play any card, and this Twisted Fate turns into a 6-6. Six, six. Hmm. 
let's just challenge here. I could see just attacking with the 3-1 and trying to get some damage on the Twisted Fate that way. You can't, you cannot single combat, like, if it's, if it's a burst spell, they just get the plus two, plus two immediately, and we, we couldn't single combat in response. See, like, something like that. So, like, it just turns into a 6-6. Six, six. You can't do anything about that. So, now with single combat, um, so we're out of Bastion range, but... You know, we've seen, like, you know, the two-mana spells, Pale Cascade. Like, both both the two-mana spells would just be uh, really bad for me to see. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting. I'm going to try to Concerted Strike this turn and then break up a break up a Bastion with a single combat. But Pale Cascade or the other one, the plus zero, plus two, both of those would have would have really been devastating. All right, so let's try Concerted Strike. One more mana would be really nice to have. Again, these four mana spells are kind of kind of really hurting, but you know, in case of in case we need like the single combat to break up a Bastion, and then they also have a bunch of things that a bunch of, you know like plus zero plus twos, because just like one like a Bastion and a plus zero plus two, it would also get the Veiled Temple that that keeps the Twisted Fate alive because I can't play both of these. So that's the worst case scenario, like some Blessed Vigor plus Bastion. But we're going to hopefully have them not have that. Cool. Glad it's Guiding Touch, not some Blessed Vigor. Yeah, so now it, now a Bastion saves them. Yeah, if I go Fury, we, we if I do go Fury, we do heal the Sejuani, but I may want the Sejuani in my hand. Bring me chaos. They could also just have Hush. So we need one more mana. But I, I like that a lot more than Bastion, right? Like, we got a lot of damage on the Twisted Fate. So we can assume the Swiss of Fate already has four health. So all we gotta do is just play two spells. They got this Dust Spell Dust here. This does mean they don't have a moon weapon. Their sense travels on the night air. This also just gets blown up by so many things. It can other option would be like, um, you know, protege challenge. All that glitters. So this looks pretty bad for us. Considering, uh, um, yeah, they're drawing four cards. 
I'm gonna need something like a young. I'm gonna need a really big effect, um, like our 12 mana card. I got this one. That'll do. Unless I get incredibly lucky, that should do it. I get incredibly lucky. Now double star shaping. So they're going to have... So they have two really big effects. Most likely one of them is the obliterate two units card. One mana short from casting everything. For post being four mana, it keeps killing us. Okay, so one on one. Unacceptable. Yeah. All right, same matchup. Different opponent. I like my chances more with different opponent. Um, we'll see if there's, you know, uh, multiple temples. I'm keeping Shivana, and I think that may be it. I think so. The spells, you know, the spells are good, but they're replaceable. We have a lot of good spells in the deck. Um, it's never ideal to have your three most expensive cards in your opening hand. So, obviously, if I if I could choose, I would just not mulligan and keep the three spells that <laughs> we mulliganed instead of these. But we don't know. Like, Feel the Rush is really powerful. Maybe, maybe we can still get to the point in the game where Feel the Rush... Uh, can help us win. Sunlight guiding my brethren. Dragon's Rage. Shivana. I become who I was always meant to be. Mm. Suffer my fury. I don't think I use Troll Chant right here unless unless there's a pill cascade. Troll Chant would only heal the Shivana too. Right, like it's going to go back to four anyway. So now it just goes back to two instead of four. It's probably better to hold on to the Troll Chant for um, another time whenever we need it more. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Bill Temple's not bad. Yeah, 
Card's not bad. Alright, see that's a that's a better troll chant for us for sure. Much better troll chant. There's nothing really that good for me to kill with Sejuani. Good. Break them. Hmm. It's probably just good for me to play it though. Pain is nothing. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah. Dead in their tracks. Astral protection? Well, that's pretty great. Still have three mana left. My true power. I'm just not going to single combat. I'm going to wait till next turn again and, and concerted strike with single combat to break up Bastion. Not a bad draw. There's something to do. But we're in the exact same spot last turn where I won't be able to like Fury plus single com single combat. Maybe maybe I just do this. Mind splitter. Challenge the 1-3. Because, yeah, their Twist Fate's only 1 out of 8. Not really playing any card draw. It's right now. Mm. Just gonna let that happen before they play, you know, whatever spells we have to deal with. Because, like, if I block, then they, then they have the opportunity to play Pale Cascade. And then I have to, you know, like, respond to Pill Cascade and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's just worth it just to not to block and just take that. Guess I just pass. So I'm trying to kill the Aphelios, keep them from getting all the moon weapons. Okay. Another one. Where are we at? We're still at two for Twisted Fate. I'm kind of just worried about Bastion with my Concerted Strike getting Bastioned. Okay, awesome. Two Aphelios down. That's great news. Always 
Okay. We'll have the mana for Feel a Rush. We got the room. Let's get some 10 tens. We have one of each, Shivana and Sejuani in hand. All right, cool. Didn't grab either one. So if I would play another Field of Rush, you know, kind of have to do something about that. So these are leveled up, so they're going to be creating the strafing strikes and also be even larger. That's going to be nice having. So like next turn, 10 mana, two strafing strikes cost six. So that's an additional four mana, either like a Fury of the North. Um, or, yeah, I'm not really playing Confront. I, mean, I guess the good, the good part about casting, like, Confront, Fury of the North, they do put those back for another one of these. Okay. So, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, that seems perfectly fine with me. That just didn't do anything. Attack. You cannot hold us down. You're bluffing. All right, let's go with the concerted strike. You leave me no recourse. Charmed, I'm sure. That's just the worst card to block. <laughs> they should definitely block one of these two bluffing. that they just silenced. Blocking the five, like. Yeah, my opponent has not played this this game, especially the last few turns. They've not played it particularly well. Okay, that's a better block. Wait, we'll still we'll still do the healing. No, will not heal. Okay, that's gonna be a win. Two and one. Ionia Bilgewater. All right, we're still playing Bilgewater, but this is a different deck. It's not Twisted Fate Aphelios, so that's cool. We're going to mulligan Sejuani and keep everything else. Got one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So we got a Gluttony. Uh, gluttony Undying deck. For a ranked. Thank you. Thanks for the donation deck there. Thursday. Any any preference on Thursday, first, second, third, or fourth? Last slot, fourth. Okay, you got Thursday, fourth slot. Jailbreak. They're playing like Monastery of Hirana. Maybe it's just a maybe it's like I don't know, what's Ionia for? Is it just a bunch of elusives and spells and then mind meld? Who does not know the name Laurent? Parlay. All one mana spells. Jailbreak, parlay. Don't ask where it's from. 
Ooh, that's a good black market merchant. That's a good turn for them. Save this for us. Bubble Bear, let's go. Bubble Bear. Feels like that card is bubble barely played these days. Hey, stop that. All right, they're getting in front of my little one three. So we could single combat and take down the bubble bear, but that seems kind of mean. I don't, I don't know if that's really necessary. So yeah, not not Freljord, no no Battle Fury to go along with this Bubble Bear. We're all about the Laurent Proteges. Yeah, this is certainly a mind meld deck. That's like the only good payoff for what they're doing. Hey, Skok. They're stunning this thing. Okay. Trying to keep their Elisa's alive. Possible I should have just played the confront before. Yeah, Bubble Bear has great voice lines. Bubble Bear is just an awesome card. It's a really fun card to say and everything. Bubble Bear. It's pretty cool. Okay, they played four spells. Purple fish cost two. This is your end. This will level up Shivana. Oh, I guess I could have just blocked with my eight eight, which would also level up Shivana. All right, Shiv Shivana doesn't have to do all the damage itself. All right, that's fine. All right, challenge. Let's challenge you. Here. You. You. Probably could have made this lethal. No, I guess maybe not. Okay, good. I don't want a single combat before attack and just let them play something else. I think we just... Uh, I'm happy with just going to attacks. Um, this... Okay, get this burble fish out of here. It's going to make it difficult for them to one-shot kill me with... Um, also, you know, having Kindly Tavern Keeper and Troll Chant... But you never know. I'm not sure if they were playing... I'm not sure if the Burblefish made that health potion, or if they were just playing health potion in hand. I'm not sure. We see them play a bunch of kind of random-ish one mana spells. Oh, we'd have leveled up... Yeah, we'd have leveled up Shivana. Or Sejuani, I mean. We already had leveled up Shivana. Leave your tracks in the 
All right, what are we, what are we going to draw? Another tavern keeper. So they got to do twenty damage. Which I don't know. Maybe it's possible for them to do twenty damage. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? They just have to cast ten spells, and I think they've played ten spells. The dark beckons. This is actually. We're actually probably dead now with, with those two resetting. We're probably dead. Yeah, we're done. 12 and 12. That'll be game. GG's. The biggest mistake I made that last game was not casting the Shivana Champion spell. I think if I would have... That's what I really need to do, is I need to cast that Shivana Champion spell and give my Shivana Challenger. And then during those other turns, I would have been able to help kill those their elusives easier with my with the Challenger with with uh, Shivana, which would have allowed me to to save like my fight spells and stuff like that. So I, I really should have cast because like early on in the game, like there was like you know like turn five, like we didn't really do anything with our mana. Really need to cast Shivana's Champion spell. Hey Vinny, good games there. Yeah, that was that was a really good game. So Shivana's champion spell is not something that you usually do too often, but that's what I needed to do at that game. Let's see. Am I just playing you as a three-three tavern keeper? Putting you in front of a Fiora. No, I'm gonna wait. River shake the land and give it life. Okay, we will now play it. Welcome to the tipsy hour. So if I, do I want to attack and allow them to play Sharp Sight? Basically trade Troll Chant for Sharp Sight. Then they draw a card. I don't think so. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. I sense an imbalance. I smell fear. A gift from the river folk. Kind of hoping that they would play the sharp sight, and then I would troll chant afterwards and keep them from drawing a card with the river shaper. Um, barriers are going to be tough for us. We I don't really have any answers to barriers. Barriers are going to be tough. Just keep playing whatever spell protect river shaper and just re replace their spells. This is gross. I said rather them like if they're gonna have like repost, we need to get like repost out of their hand. Okay. No repost. By my honor, you must die. It must be done. Try me. Protect and strike. Let's talk about your tab. I wonder if it makes sense to go like this. The problem with making like this block is I don't level up Shivana. But I need to kill Shen, or at least, you know, I'm I'm not playing anything first because I would prefer to kill Shen if I can. So one, five.
Hmm. Now I wish I would have done Dragon first to level Shivana. But that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that like they would, like if they're going to use like again like use repost and that kind of stuff. I don't want them killing my screeching dragon. I want them killing the, the tavern keeper. Like if they're going to use something to keep the Chen alive. That's so that's that's my thinking of having the dragon second. Lots of challengers. You own what you take. Stand and fight. How about another round? Could also just do this. Do this. Okay. Oh, that's bad. This will be quick. Well fought. I guess at the end of the day we trade two for three there. Yeah, you know, my two cards for their three, but those are two very good cards for me. Still have five in hand. I kind of need to open attack because of Bright Steel formation. So it'd be nice to play Sejuani, but I kind of need open attack as Bright Steel formation, but I just don't have any spells. Have we only drawn one spell this entire game? Like one troll chant? This game that's just all about, um, you know, all about combat tricks like this. This kind of game, and we just don't have any combat tricks. We at least kind of bluff like we have combat tricks. Yay! A combat trick. Yep, so they had formation. Bow to no one. So good thing. Good thing I didn't just play the Sejuani first. I don't really know how I'm dealing with this Bright Seal formation. I think that it, the Bright Seal formation just wins this game. Stay back. 
Hey, Moonlight, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Put them down to zero. Zero's not very much health. Nopeify their single combat still puts them down to zero. It's kind of greedy with their block there, not having the 9-9 block my 5-6 overwhelm and having the, the two health thing block the 5-6 overwhelm. That was a pretty greedy block. So sometimes you just gotta attack and see what happens. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. So there we go. We got a winning record with Shivana Sejuani. Also got two and one record against the Twisted Fate Aphelio stack that we started the video off playing. And so that's that's definitely a really good sign. The last two games were kind of weird. I think that I probably should have won the game four, especially if I would have like I, I think I could have done different things to win that game four. Um, uh, especially if I would have gave the Shivana Challenger. I think I, I, yeah, I did not make the best decisions there. But then the game five, I don't think I should have won that game. I think my opponent, uh, pro like, I think that they certainly had the cards to win that game five. And, you know, we just really couldn't draw spells until the very end. We did draw the, the two repost the very, the very last two turns, which really helped. Um, so, you know, like those, those things kind of even out, right? Like we probably should have won the game four, probably should not have won the game five. Um, they, so they kind of even out. Um, so we went, um, yeah, three and two at the deck and yeah, went one and one against, uh, BBG playing the Twisted Fate Aphelios. That's definitely a really good sign. Um, our champions were really powerful. Both Shivana and Sejuani did a whole lot for us. Um, yeah, so I, I liked, I liked what our deck had going on with those. Like the, the two champions were really good. Feel the rush, putting them into play. Very good. And then just all the challenger stuff that we had, um, Screeching Dragon, Protégé, Grand Plaza was awesome when we had it. We only really had it like the the first game, maybe the second game too. I think like the first two games we didn't have Grand Plaza the last few games, but it was really good when we did have it. And so there we go. Bright Seal Protector didn't really look that necessary. It was it was it was a little bit underwhelming. <clears throat> kind of some of the games like where we had too many just like Bright Seal Protectors and Kindly Tavern Keepers against like these non burn decks um, that hurt a little bit, but it's all right. Still good. All right, but that's Shivana Sejuani. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about non no Targon Tuesday, or if you have other cool champion combinations that you'd like to see a deck built, like this Shivana Sejuani, you know, feel free to leave those comments over there. Um, yeah, I'm interested in that. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.